Number 69. Based on formal charge considerations, which of the following would likely be the correct arrangement of atoms in sulfur dioxide? Would it be OSO or SOO? Now, without even formal charges, we actually know which one of these is actually sulfur dioxide, right? How do we know that? Because we know something about what the central atom has to be in Lewis structures, right? Now, in this case, it looks like they're portraying the sulfur to be the central atom. And in the other one, it looks like the oxygen is going to be the central atom. But what do we know? The central atom is always the least electronegative atom, right? There's exceptions, right? Hydrogen cannot be in the middle. But for general, the central atom is the least electronegative. So we know that trend, right? We went over that already. As you go from left to right across a period, electronegativity, I'll just put EN, increases. And as you drop down a group, electronegativity should decrease. So if I just know where sulfur is as opposed to oxygen, which one would want to be in the center? It would want to be the least electronegative, right? Because the least electronegative is always the central atom. And it looks like by this uh, trend, electronegativity decreases, so you're going down. So sulfur would be less electronegative than oxygen. So that means that sulfur would want to be the central atom, and that is the correct version, as opposed to this one, which is incorrect. But... You know, they want us to do formal charges, so hey, why not, right? Okay, so let's see. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you could actually write OSO, right? Keep in mind that sulfur um, is below second period, which means that it can have the expanded octet. So if you've done a formal, uh, not a formal charge, but if you've done a Lewis structure like this, technically this is correct, where you have two double bonds, and you have a lone electron here, lone pair, and then you have two on each side. So that would be OSO versus SOO. Now, you can't make the expanded octet with oxygen because oxygen is in period two. It cannot have an expanded octet. So instead, oxygen in the middle, surrounded by a single bond and a single bond. You can't have two double bonds because with electron configuration, it won't allow it. So we have something like this, I believe. Let me just make sure. I think actually we need one. I think we need actually one double bond. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yeah. So I'm going to just get rid of one of these. It doesn't really matter. Um... You know what, I'm just going to put the double bond here and then shift this over to here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just checking my valence electrons. And there you go. All right, so now we have both 18 valence electrons total. And those are the two potential Lewis structures for each and now let's do the formal charge. Now it looks like this oxygen would be the same as this one because they both have two bonds, two bonds, and two lone pairs, right? Two lone pairs. So I can find out what the oxygen is over here, and I'll know what the oxygen formal charge is over there. So let's see. Formal charge of this oxygen is, we're gonna use our formal charge formula so it starts with valence electrons, which is found on the periodic table. Oxygen has seven, uh, sorry, six valence electrons, right? So it starts with six minus number of bonds. So that's two bonds that this oxygen has. So minus two minus number of dots. So that's one, two, three, four. So six minus two minus four is zero. So this oxygen would be neutral, which means that this oxygen would also be neutral because they're exactly the same. Now let's do this sulfur. Formal charge of this sulfur is valence electron sulfur is over here. So sulfur has six valence electrons. 
So six minus, how many bonds does it have? One, two, three, four. So minus four minus, how many dots? One, two. So minus two, and that you get zero as well. So in this compound, OSO, all atoms are neutral. They're chilling. They're okay. They're perfect, right? So they're good. If, if an atom is neutral, that means that it's pretty stable. It's the most stable it's going to be. Now let's check for these. So these look all different. So let's get to it. So let's do this sulfur. Formal charge of sulfur is... Sulfur, like we said before, has a valence of six electrons minus... This sulfur has two bonds. So minus two minus... How many dots? One, two, three, four. So minus four. So this would be neutral. Okay, so we're starting out on, on a good note here. But now let's see the oxygens. This oxygen... So I'll just say formal charge of this oxygen equals. Oxygen has six valence electrons. So six minus, how many bonds does it have? One, two, three. So minus three. And then minus how many dots? One, two. So minus two. And when you do all that, that's a plus one. So this oxygen has a charge. Hmm, not good. And now let's do this oxygen. Formal charge of oxygen is six valence minus, this one only has one bond, so minus one, minus one, two, three, four, five, six lone electrons, and that gives you the negative one charge. So here there's different charges. One oxygen is positive, the other one is negative, as opposed to this compound where everybody is chilling. Zero, zero, zero. So with formal charge considerations, just know that the less charges, the better. So in this case, you would much rather want a compound that's all neutral as opposed to a compound that has a couple of charges. So that's, that's the reason why they want you to say that OSO is the correct arrangement, because they're all neutral, as opposed to SOO having a positive one and a negative one on those oxygens. And that's it. 69 is done. So thank you for tuning to the end. Hopefully this helped. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I know that we're putting tons and tons and tons of hours into this um, to help you guys out. So if you could just click that subscribe button, that would really mean the world to me. We just passed 100 subs, which is crazy. So we're on to 200. So thank you so much for that. I'll see you guys in the next question. Have a great day.